Oh, hey, welcome to VTV. Welcome back, HF. Hope you all enjoyed your summer and are looking forward to the first Friday VTV show of the school year. We've got quite a lot of new faces around the school, but with another year of VTV comes another year of me, your favorite host, Theo Holloway. But back to those new faces. We've got quite a large staff this year, and in order to introduce all of those new faces to you, here's Charlie and Summer with a look at who will be doing your VTV shows this school year. Let's meet the VTV staff of the 24-25 school year. Hi guys, I'm Summer, your TV manager for this school year, and I'm so excited for the things we have coming up. What's well, clack clacking everybody? I'm so on terror, and it's crazy I've been here for four years, because I remember just four years ago sitting here as a little freshman, and it felt weird, but it's crazy that everything has you know, come together the last four years. My name is Charlie Derringer. I'm the live event manager for this school year. Hi, I'm Kamora Scott and I'm 4A. I'm Ashira and I'm Chris Brown's butter knife. My name's Emmanuel and I eat the steak off the popsicle. My name's Shondell and I'm the worst boxer on the planet. My name's Ewan Duckett and I'm afraid of the Chuck E. Cheese rat. My name's Layla Dyer and I get stage fright. Hey, I'm Ari Salas and I'm the PR manager here at VTV and I'm also a photographer and athletic trainer. I'm Macy Hamer and I 100% turn all my stuff in on time. My name's Declan Klein and I'm a skis favorite. Well, my name is Chris Tompkins. I can do a 360 windmill and I work for the CIA. I'm Miles Ellis. I'm the best athlete in the school, I would say, and I'm the greatest boyfriend ever. My name is Nikolai Lawrence, and I'm going to be serving you guys on VTV this year. My name is Anthony Reynoso. I'm the best editor here, mostly, and um. I love mac and cheese. My name is Dow Gruen, and I'm on the entertainment crew. I love Pixels. Pixels is the best movie ever. My name is Charlie Wachtel, and I am Louisiana's number one cricket player. I'm Cameron, and I'm Louisiana's number two cricket player. I'm coming for your spot, Charlie. Hi, I'm Ori, and I am a VTV celebrity. King Figaro and uh, I'm a part of the radio crew here at uh, VTV. I have a disdain for King Figaro. What's up, I'm Theo Holloway. I'm the face of VTV. The VTV staff look forward to creating for you this year. Stay tuned for some awesome VTV productions. Reporting from VTV, I'm Charlie Wachtel. We did a lot over the summer, but we want to know what you did. So we had Anthony roam the halls and figure out what students did over this summer. Oh, summer. The season of endless possibilities. So many things to do all at once. This is going to be the best summer ever. Hey, excuse, me? Hmm? excuse me? What was your best part of your summer? Um... um uh... Uh, my favorite thing about this summer was uh, learning new songs on guitar. The best part of my summer was going canoeing with my family. The best part of my summer was probably uh, playing basketball with my teammates and uh, getting to spend time with my friends. My best part about my summer was probably adopting a German Shepherd puppy named Miska. Well, probably since like the summer was my birthday week, I went to Las Vegas. Uh, I stayed for there for about like maybe two weeks. I went back, had a, my friend's birthday party. We went to a hotel sleepover. <laughs> and probably robbed a bank. The first part of our summer was hanging out with my friends. Uh, one of them had a birthday, so we made her a cake. And um, it was the best creative cake out there. In okay, so the best part of my summer was I went to Michigan with my family. The best part of my summer was Lollapalooza. <laughs> 
best part of my summer was Lava Palooza as well. <laughs> okay. okay. Summer, but definitely the Junior Olympics for track. I didn't place, but it was fun. It was definitely cool. Yeah. That's the best part of my summer. Uh, 707 tournament. You know, I went crazy. Yeah. The best part of my summer was being here at HF at the cheer camp. And also, I went to Mexico for a graduation trip. My favorite thing about summer was hanging with my close friend, Annie. Um, my favorite part of that summer was going out to Chicago to uh, visit my grandmother. The best part about my summer for me was probably sleeping. I got to sleep a lot, you know. I got a lot more free time on me. But now that I'm back here, I don't get to sleep like that anymore. The best thing I did this summer was probably hang out with my friends and work on my art and photography. I went to Six Flags and I also spent time with my friends and family. Um, those of you who may remember that I had Invisalign for an excessive amount of time. It's off. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Some HF students took the trip of a lifetime over the summer and went to go visit China. And we want to hear more about how that trip went. So here's that story with Ori. This summer, Ms. Ding's Chinese class embarked on a journey to China, where they visited several key locations and learned about the country's history and culture. The trip began in Beijing, where the group spent three days visiting the Imperial Palace, also known as the Forbidden City, the Heaven Temple, where Empress prayed annually for the nation and its people, and lastly, the Great Wall, where they hiked and observed the landscape. Yeah, so I went pretty high. Um, I don't know if it was like the highest point, but I went to like as far as I could go. But like my left was shaking on the way down because like it was tough. But uh, it's a great view. Like if you go up, it's like a real elevated um, ski lift ride to the top kind of scary, but overall it's pretty good. Next, the class traveled to Yunnan province visiting four cities. In Kunming, they spent time in a local park. In Dali, they explored an ancient town, saw the Three Pagodas, and visited Lake Erai. The group toured Lijui and Jizhu in Linjiang and visited the Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. In Shangri-La, they went to the Songzili Monastery, Padukul National Park, and visited a Tibetan family. The final stop was the bustling metropolis of Shanghai where the class experienced the modern side of China. A visit to the zoo allowed them to see two beautiful pandas up close along with other fascinating animals. The trip concluded with a visit to Jiju, a charming water town in the suburbs of Shanghai. So the trip um, meant to me personally is just again my, um, my love for traveling and connecting with um, different cultures and meeting new people throughout the world. Um, but definitely for the students, I really um, felt that it was a very special situation and experience for them to be able to um, practice the, you know, the uh, language that they've been learning, but also to immerse themselves and engage in, um, you know, people from the culture that they've also been, um, you know, learning about. But, you know, really to have that firsthand experience, that personal face-to-face -face contact, you know, is um, beyond any, anything that you could, you know, read in a book or, you know, hear about in a lecture. Reporting for VTV, I'm Aurelia Rochadipo. I keep saying the word new, and for good reason. I mean, it's a new school year, there's new students, and if you look around school, there's a whole bunch of new things added. So why don't we take a look at what some of those new things are. Welcome back, HF. Hopefully everyone had a great, relaxing summer, because back here at school, our staff and administrators have been hard at work with some new changes. So let's take a look at what you might have missed today. Starting off with our new science building. Construction on the new science building has been going right on schedule. This building will be HF's most advanced addition yet, planning to be fully solar powered with the net zero energy costs. If all continues to plan, the building should be finished by second semester. However, the classes for it won't start until next year. Sorry, seniors. The next new addition to HF is a gift from the class of 2024, the Senior Countdown Sign. Every class leaves a gift to their senior year, 
but the class of 2024 wanted to make theirs last, and they decided to pick a bright sign for the hallway. Hopefully, students can use the sign to see how much time they have left for the classes once it's fully set up. Another new addition to the building is the shiny new HF gym floors. After years of being run on, over the summer, HF replaced the gym floors in the South Gym. Hopefully they can be enjoyed for many athletes for years to come. That's all the major new additions that happened to HF while you were gone. Hopefully everyone can enjoy these things for the rest of the year. Back to those new students I was talking about. Class of 2028 is in the building, and we want to make sure they have the best school year possible. So here's some upperclassmen advice for you. I'm done. Mr. Chapel, please, I was on level 471 of Candy Crush. Please, please can I have my phone back? You can get this back at the end of the day. <gasps> no. Bro, I need my phone back. I, I can't live without it. That sucks, man. Well, what are you going to do until you get your phone back? I'll just have to find other ways to entertain myself, I guess. Any ideas? Nah, man, you're on your own. I still have my phone right in here. Yeah, wh whatever, dude. I'll think of something anyways. Of making a this flaming knife would be to be the knife guess Mr. Chapel, when does class end? Nico, it's first period. We aren't even 20 minutes into class. Nothing much, man. Honestly, I'm just so bored right now. We got work to do. We should just do it. We should just uh, do the work, right? Fine, I guess so. Seize the day, right? Back to those new students I was talking about. Class of 2028 is in the building, and we want to make sure they have the best school year possible. So here's some upperclassmen advice for you. My advice for freshmen is to not stand in the hallway the entire passing period and blocking everybody else's view because that's annoying. Uh, always advocate for yourself, email teachers, ask for extra help, go to tutoring, okay? There are resources for you to be a good student. Take your freshman year very seriously because it's an important building block for the rest of your high school career. Run in the halls. Always run, never be late to class. Uh, wear neon. <laughs> Off brand shoes are preferred on campus. My advice for the freshmen is to keep your grades up because it's hard to change your GPA as you get older. What's going on Vikings? I'm Sophia Bilgi with your weather forecast heading into this weekend. Today it's supposed to be cloudy with a high of 85 degrees and no rain expected. So if you want to go outside, perfect day for it. On Friday, we are expecting a high of 82 degrees with a 35% chance of rain. So keep your umbrella handy just in case. Looking into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday are supposed to be beautiful with sunny skies and a high of 83 degrees. So any outdoor plans, perfect days for them. And then moving on to Labor Day, Monday is supposed to cool down to a high of 78 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Enjoy your weekend with your VTV forecast. I'm Sophia Bilgi. As quickly as it started, today's show is done. I know, I know, I know. But we hope you all enjoyed today's show, and we'll see you again next week. I'm Theo Howard, your favorite host. 
have an amazing three-day weekend.